Okay, so we're gonna work on our back handspring. Step out for beam on the actual beam, okay? You can do it, everyone. It just takes time. You have it in you. Keep telling yourself, I can do it. I got it. So, you wanna be able to do it on the line first. Of course, like this. So get yourself the line. Okay, nice and tight start, squeeze. Swing your arms hard too. When I swing really big, it helps me to get, get power. You don't wanna lean forward too far, okay? You can lean, but you don't wanna have those knees go over your toes, okay? Eyeball straight. I notice a lot of people will throw that head early. See how my head was, was straight? And then as your arms get to your ears, that's when you push back. Put the weight, oh I forgot to say this. When you land, put the weight in your front leg. Okay, bend with your foot not turned in. Because if you really put the weight here in this leg, okay, pull your arms to your ears, square it up. It's easier to square when you come up kind of here and then push it out. That's uh, what I do anyway. It could help you, maybe not, maybe yes. Okay, so here, and then push it, okay? Now once you have it on the line, solid, 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 straight legs and straight arms, of course, then you move to floor beam. Sometimes they have the foam beams that are actually on the floor. And then after the line, you're gonna move to low beam. I put my hands like this, which you don't wanna do that. Um, I don't know, I'm just different, I guess. And that's why I got an owie, because my nail went, hey -ya. So you want your hands here. Um, you can get one of the giant barrels, the big giant barrels, go back and then place your hands to get used to it. Get a spot. And then after low beam, like you can have the panel mats. Pretend like I had mats level with the beam. Then go ahead and take away those mats. Then you're gonna move it to medium beam with a mat and you can build the mats up. I know it takes a while, but it's good exercise, right? Build those mats up so it's even with the beam. Then you can move it to high beam and I found a secret way to do it. You can take the big blue blocks, you know the big ones in the gym, and you stick them against the beam and then you put a panel mat and then take like one section of the panel mat and flip it down and it makes the perfect high beam situation. So, I know this sounds crazy, but uh, when I tumble on beam, I have to see blue. So I'm gonna get rid of that little bit of red. But, what, but when I'm competing, or when I used to compete, then you just gotta deal. So I'm gonna take my blue and fix my red. turn into noodly, you know, things, you're gonna fall on your face or your head. You've got to push up your shoulders, don't bend your arms, or you're gonna eat the beam for lunch. And it does not taste good, okay? So look at your hands, push, pop off your hands, do lots of handstand pops, a million back handspring step outs on the floor. If you can't do it on the line, perfect. 
you're not gonna be able to do it on the beam, right? It's common sense. You can do it, you just have to put in the work. You just gotta do it over and over and over and over and do your strength. If you don't do your strength in your handstands, how they say it in Boston, forget about it. Okay, it's just not gonna work. Strength and your flexibility, gotta have your splits, okay? Show it off if you have a back handspring in your team, okay? Because when you land, you don't wanna be like, mm -hmm. you wanna be professional. Okay, thanks so much for watching, everyone. And remember, back handspring is mostly mental, okay? Get it in your brain. Once your coach says you're good, you have it with the mat set by yourself, you're ready to go, you've done it with spot, you're looking good. If coach says you are ready, you are ready. Just keep on telling yourself you can do it, please. Okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I'll tell you another little secret. Don't tell anyone. I actually don't do this either, it's dangerous. I hold my breath and I count to three in my head before I tumble on beam. I know, I know, it's crazy. Don't do that though, okay? Just put it in yourself, get up there, you're ready, and just do it. Push hard with those legs, swing your arms hard, and you got it. And for your end of the workout trick, I'm just do, gonna do cartwheel back handspring, step out, lay out, step out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm tired. Have fun in the gym, everyone. Check out my other lessons and tutorials. Okay, bye.